Well, I think it's very sad what they've done with this fake dossier. It was made up, and I understand they paid a tremendous amount of money, and Hillary Clinton always denied it. The Democrats always denied it. And now only because it's going to come out in a court case, they said, yes, they did it, they admitted it, and they're embarrassed by it. But I think it's a disgrace. It's just really a very, it's a very sad, it's a very sad commentary on politics in this country. I don't think so. I think it's fine the way it is. We have actually great unity in the Republican Party. Yesterday I was, no, that's okay. Look, you know, they have to do their thing. Uh, we have great unity. If you look at what happened yesterday at the meeting, we had, I guess, virtually every senator, uh, including John McCain. We had a great conversation yesterday, John McCain and myself, about the military. I think we had a, a I called it a love fest. It was almost a love fest. Maybe it was a love fest. But we get standing ovations. There is great unity. I mean, if you look at the Democrats with Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton, that's a mess. There's great unity in the Republican Party. Well, I think it's I think it's sad, but I think to a large extent, in all due respect, I think the media causes a lot of it. Uh, fake stories are being reported. A lot of bad things are being reported that aren't true. And you know, I think to a certain extent, maybe I can blame the media, but. Uh, Politics is a rough business, there's no question about it. I will say this, I think the Republican Party has a pretty good unity. When I look at that room yesterday at lunch, and you know, and you reported on it very well, Kristen, I mean, you, you gave it a very good report. The fact is, there was tremendous unity in that room. And we're really unified, we're really unified on what we want to do. We want tax cuts for the middle class, we want tax cuts for businesses to produce jobs. There's great unity.